On day one, I spawned in as a baby psychic snake in my colony. All of us were worshipping our great leader, the Mythic Hydra. Suddenly, a portal ripped open and the Mythic Hydra himself stormed the village with his army. Go forward, men. Kill all the psychic snakes. The Hydra's men terrorized my village, killing my people left and right. They showed no mercy, and everyone ran in horror as the tragic events unfolded around us. Why is our leader attacking us? I need to find my mom and dad. I slithered through the chaos as I looked desperately for any signs of my family. I felt hope as I spotted my mom stepping forwards towards the great mythic Hydra himself. Please, oh great one, why are you doing this? You're not worth my breath. The tyrant unleashed his ultimate power onto my mom, killing her instantly. Mom, no! Just then, the Hydra turned towards me, commanding his goons to hunt us down. Kill them all! On day two, I was being pursued by the Mythic Hydra's army of elite soldiers. I quickly spotted an overworld portal and made a break for it to escape the horde. I made it to the other side, landing in a pool of water, but they were gaining on me quickly. They followed me through the portal and continued to hunt me down. I couldn't match their speed. This isn't fair. I don't even have legs. Seeking for any help I could, I fled into a village of kobolds and cried out for help. Please, you have to help me. The Mythic Hydra is attacking my home. Then you must be our enemy. Get him. To my horror, the entire village turned on me and began to attack. They were too loyal to the Mythic Hydra to believe I was innocent. The whole village surrounded me like a pack of wolves. I couldn't defend myself. I had to run to evade their attacks. I ran throughout the village slithering between trees, hiding behind bushes, trying to dodge their arrows and swords. They started to gain ground on me and I knew soon that I was gonna run out of places to go. I snapped at them with my fangs, but it wasn't enough to stop them. I was doomed. No, listen to me. I climbed to a safe spot, but the kobolds completely surrounded me. There's nowhere to run. Suddenly, an immense power came over me and a magical circle enveloped the area. The village of kobolds all stopped their onslaught and stood completely still. Hello? The mythic Hydra's men caught up and stormed the village, but to my surprise, one of the kobolds turned towards them. Defend Max! They charged in and clashed with the Hydra forces. On day three, the village had come to my defense. I didn't understand how or why until suddenly it clicked. Did I just mind control them? Cool! While the army was tangled in battle, I took my chance to get out of there. Unfortunately for me, out of nowhere, I was teleported to another location. What's going on? A mythic being appeared before me. You fell right into my trap. I'll be taking you to the mythic Hydra. Oh yeah? I used my ability once again, trying to entangle the monster in my mind control. However, it seemed to have no effect on the magical being. Your little mind games won't work on me. They charged their power and attacked. The wolf at night leapt towards me, bringing down his massive sword on top of my head. I narrowly dodged out of the way until the huge amount of debris kicked up. This guy wasn't just mentally strong, he was physically strong too. He jumped up, slashing the air with his sword and sending razor sharp projectiles in my direction. I ran away as much as I could, seeing that this was a fight I could not win. And the knight knew it too, because he didn't let up his assault for even a single moment. If I wanted to stand a chance against his might, I would have to become stronger. I was clearly no match for this wolf knight's immense strength, so I tried to run away. But to my horror, the magician continued to teleport in front of me. You can never escape me. Die! On days four and five, I was about to be slain when my dad teleported behind him. Unhand my son! Using his incredible psychic abilities, he attacked the foe in my defense. Find the mythic Hydra's archives. We will reunite there. Before I could ask him anything, I was teleported away with his powers. I reappeared inside of a spooky environment. The place was dark and eerie. Why did my dad bring me here? Out of nowhere, a mecha wolf lunged at me from the brush with the intent to eat me. I slithered away from the predator as fast as I could, but they were so swift that they seemed to be lurking around every corner. The wolf managed to land a hit on me, leaving me with low health. I can't hang on much longer! As I was about to lose hope, I spotted a mysterious building in the distance. I ran as fast as I could for it and fled inside for cover. Unfortunately for me, the old building's floor was too weak for my snake body and collapsed, causing me to fall into the unknown. On days 5 through 7, I landed inside of a room lined with bookshelves and mysterious spells from all over the land. Are these the archives my dad wanted me to find? Suddenly, I heard footsteps approaching and took cover just as some guards walked inside. This place is crawling with baddies. I have to be quiet. I slithered from shelf to shelf, trying my best to stay concealed in cover from the incoming guards. They looked strong, and if I blew my cover, it would mean big trouble for me. As I stealthed, I spotted an interesting looking artifact on the ground. What's this? 
Just then, one of the guards spotted me. I found the psychic snake. Kill him. In a moment of panic, I pointed the artifact at the guard, causing it to blast powerful magic in his direction. Whoa! I can channel my psychic powers into this thing. The guard died, but it was too late. Reinforcements came swarming in after me. I readied my new weapon and unleashed all of the magic I could onto the horde of enemies. I managed to take some of them down, but there were too many for me to fight alone. I blasted a clear path and continued running deeper into the archives. There, I found a top secret room being guarded by someone outside. You're mine now! I casted my ability onto him and I took control of the goon, sending him after the incoming guards to defend me. As he fought them off, I made my way through the door he was protecting and locked myself on the other side. On days 8 and 9, I made it into the top secret room and found a mysterious tome waiting inside. Something about it drew me in closer. What's that? I touched the artifact, causing my psychic powers to awaken and send me into a flashback. The mythic Hydra's rule is so great that it spans over the entire world. However, legend says that one day a psychic snake will overthrow his kingdom. If the mythic Hydra wishes to keep his kingdom, then he must ensure the psychic snake never fulfills this prophecy. I snap back to reality, now knowing more than I did before. Is this why the mythic Hydra attacked our people? Suddenly, the guards barged into the room. They had overpowered my mind-controlled minion and were ready to finish me off. They charged with their magic at the ready. But just before I thought I was going to be killed, my dad teleported in front of me. Dad! Step away from my boy! On days 10 through 11, my dad was defending me from the onslaught of guards. I hesitated joining in the fight to avoid getting in my dad's way. He was showing what the psychic snakes were really made of, but I soon realized he was getting overwhelmed. Although I was only a baby, I tried to help him out using my artifact and fangs. I joined the onslaught with my dad using my psychic swipe to keep a wide gap between my opponents and I. Unfortunately, keeping my distance from them only benefited my enemies, allowing them to shoot their powerful spells towards me. My dad was able to use his magic psychic powers to suck in a group of them, bringing them closer to strike with his psychic blade ability, killing off a chunk of the herd. I used the new scroll that I found to channel my psychic powers and blast the hordes of evil librarians, taking them out in bunches. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the more guards we defeated, the more kept running into the room to stop us from escaping. With the knowledge that I acquired from this ancient library, I was determined to make it out of this alive. Although we were able to overpower most of them, more and more guards continued to flood the room. At this rate, my dad and I were gonna be overwhelmed. I looked around for a way out, and to my luck, spotted a passageway on top of one of the bookshelves. Dad, up there! My dad teleported us both out of the fray and onto the top of the shelf where we escaped through the narrow passage. It wasn't long, however, until we heard the sound of rattling bones. I turned around and realized we were being pursued by a pack of flaming skull monsters. Run! My dad and I moved as fast as we could to escape the incoming threat, but they were relentless. The creatures wouldn't stop tailing us. Just in the nick of time, I spotted an exit, and the two of us jumped down into the darkness below. On days 12 through 14, we landed in a strange room where the wolf-like beast appeared before us. Looks like I've caught two snakes at once. It's my lucky day. The creature charged forward and my dad engaged him in combat. The wolf knight started swiping at my dad with his sharp sword. My dad retaliated with the psychic blade of his own, but it didn't seem to have any effect on his opponent. The wolf spun in the air and struck my dad with a powerful charged sword attack that dealt immense damage. The two were going back and forth, blow for blow. Suddenly, the knight began summoning magic around him, charging his power for his next attack. The wolf was growing stronger by the minute, but my father wasn't going to go down without a fight. With blinding speed, my dad charged through the wolf, unleashing the full force of his psychic energy. Just like before, neither side was giving in. They both demonstrated their incredible magical power, trying to overcome each other with their strength. Meanwhile, I supported my dad from the sidelines, using my psychic abilities to deal a bit of extra damage. Enough of this dance! To my shock, the brute turned his attention towards me and began charging a powerful magic attack. No! My dad intercepted the attack, taking the lethal blow in my stead. Son, you must stop the mythic Hydra, complete the prophecy, and make him pay for the suffering he brought our people. Dad! My dad succumbed to his wounds and died. The feeling of despair overcame me, and my psychic powers spiraled out of control. My eyes glowed bright red in fury, and my body began to transform. I levitated off the ground, and my tail grew longer. My fangs were sharpened, and my snake hood grew wider. I was now an adult psychic snake with five more hearts and new abilities. You'll pay for this! I flew in and unleashed my new strength onto the animal. The wolf knight leapt into the air, dodging my attacks and retaliating with his own shadowy swipes. I struck the knight with my magic summoning circle, dropping down psychic spears landing on my enemy. He then sliced his sword in the ground with full force, sending a wave of magic stone through the floor. 
The death of my dad fueled me to fight with everything I had. I pushed past his relentless strength and continued with a barrage of psychic strikes. With one final blow, the wolf beast fell to my might, but the bitter taste of loss still remained. The mythic hydra will pay for this. Suddenly, the room began to tremble and was ready to collapse all around me. I had to escape, so I used my new teleportation powers to vanish, unsure of where they would take me. On days 15 through 17, I reappeared in the Kobold Village, where the residents were already being interrogated by the Mythic Hydra's forces. Oh no! I gotta hide! I quickly took cover and listened in on their conversation. Please, just let us go! We are loyal followers of the Mythic Hydra! Let's see how loyal you are then! Hand over all of your food! The Mythic Hydra demands it! Oh no you don't! I couldn't let them take those poor people's food, so I immediately intervened and attacked the Mythic forces. They were none too pleased to see me! The mythic forces immediately turned their attention from the kobolds over to me. I met their approach with psychic slashes and psionic projectiles. The width of my attacks allowed me to hit more than one at a time and even the odds. The biggest hydra of them all had impressive powers infused with some sort of dark magic like the kind that killed my father. I had to be extra careful or I would share his fate. The smaller hydras wanted to circle around me and attack from a blind spot, but my flexible snake body hardly allowed that. The mythic hydra's warriors were super tough, but eventually I was able to overpower them enough to force them out of town. And stay out! I reclaimed the food they'd already taken and tried to return it to the people of the town. Is everyone okay? I've got your food! Just then, the village elder stepped forward. What are you doing, fool? You disobeyed the order of our great leader! But he was stealing your food. That doesn't matter! We never question the mythic hydra! Leave at once! But before I could defend myself, the whole village charged at me in a fit of rage. On days 18 through 20, I was under attack by the members of the village. I didn't want to hurt them, so I did my best to evade their attacks. Come on! I'm on your side! But the villagers wouldn't listen. Because I had no way of fighting back without harming them, they were able to back me into a corner. Knowing my life was at stake, I had no choice but to use my psychic powers to take control of them, causing all of the villagers to stop their onslaught. Obey Max. Huh. It's much easier to get people on my side with psychic powers. In the least evil sounding way possible. Surprisingly, the elder snapped out of my mind control. You fiend! I attempted to use my psychic powers on him again, but he looked away before our eyes could meet. You'll pay for this! The elder took off into the distance, leaving the village. Not wanting him alerting more of the Mythic Hydra's forces, I gave chase. On days 21 through 23, I was chasing after the Elder. I followed him until he reached a small outpost. I saw him stop and speak with one of the Mythic Hydra's larger guards. I tried to hide, but they spotted me. There's the Psychic Snake! Get him! The guard attacked me with all of his strength, and he was the toughest foe yet. The dragon got in close, biting down onto me with his massive set of jaws. I retreated back, putting some distance between the foe and I before unleashing a bombardment of psychic abilities onto the enemy. The brute retaliated with attacks of his own, hurling globs of acid at me that ate through my hearts, swirling guts of wind that sliced through the air, and emitting an ear-piercing roar that was sent flying right at me. I attempted to eat some food to regain my lost health, but the enemy was right on my tail. I knew I needed to shake him, so I began teleporting around the foe, preventing him from getting close while I blasted him from afar with my psychic powers. But even still, the mythic hydra's goon was proving to be too strong. There was no way I was going to win this fight on my own, so I called upon my mind-controlled forces to help me fight. With the help of my kobold army, the battle began once more and I was able to re-enter the fray with a restored sense of vigor. The dragon attempted to bite, roar, and hurl acid at my men, but he couldn't manage to cut through their numbers. While the enemy was busy dealing with my forces, I see the opportunity to release a barrage of psychic attacks onto the beast, catching him by surprise and dealing massive damage. The foe was growing desperate, creating a massive explosion that sent both him and the kobolds flying as the ground disintegrated beneath them. Still, the enemy wasn't able to take us all on at once, and his health was getting dangerously low. Thanks to the help of my unwilling army, I was able to take the guard down. You may have defeated me, but my backup is already on the way. Ow. Before the Elder could run away again, I teleported in front of him and used my mind control powers on him. He immediately fell into a deep trance. I'll use my powers to build my own resistance. The Mythic Hydra is going down. Just as the reinforcements arrived on the scene, I heard a massive explosion in the distance. I led my army to fight off the goons while I went to check out the source of the explosion. On days 24 through 26, I arrived at the source of the explosion and saw the Mythic Hydra's forces. They were blasting through a giant cavern in search of me. The loud noise made the inhabitants of the cave run in fear, and many of the creatures were dying in the explosions. Those guys are relentless! 
I have to stop them. I teleported in front of the goons. If it's me you want, then come and get me. The mythic Hydra's forces did just that, charging towards me ready to attack. But this time, instead of fighting back, I just teleported away, playing a game of keep away using my teleportation powers. You're too slow. You can't catch me. Bruh, hold still. In a fit of rage, the minions blasted another block of TNT, revealing a cave of lava. Suddenly, an angered beast jumped out from the cavern and began ravaging the mythic Hydra's goons, killing all of them. Apparently, the beast's bloodlust wasn't fulfilled. It took off, rampaging through the forest. Wanting to protect the creatures residing there, I gave chase, blasting it with my powers. That got the beast's attention, as it turned to me and attacked. On days 27 through 29, I was locked in combat with the powerful cave beast. The beast charged me as I shot out a few shadow balls out in defense. I dodged to the side and snapped at him with my snake bite, before being smacked by his tail. It sent me flying. I flew back, shooting more psychic blasts as I gained some distance. The beast leapt to me, crashing down, and sending chunks of the earth hurtling in every direction. It was a massive hit, and I took a lot of damage. I tried to get more distance between me and it when static electricity started to appear all around me. I was lifted into the air, unable to move, when suddenly lightning came crashing down on me. Free from his power, I began throwing pieces of the world back at him, desperate to defend myself. It did little to slow him down. I teleported away as I saw more static electricity forming around me but I was struck by lightning as soon as I reappeared. There just wasn't any escaping that attack. I took to the skies, switching to a dive bombing attack, but I just wasn't doing enough damage. No matter how hard I fought, this creature was like nothing I had faced so far. I didn't stand a chance. Looks like I had to do this the hard way. I locked eyes with a monster and tried to take over their mind, but suddenly a Nargakuga swooped in and broke my focus. You're not gaining control of this beast. I'm taking you to the Mythic Hydra. Oh yeah? Take this! I attempted to mind control the Nargakuga, but it didn't work. What? Fool! The Mythic Hydra protected me with a spell. You can't control my mind. The Nargakuga attacked me. Without my mind control powers, the two of us were on an equal playing field and it was neck and neck. As our battle raged on, the beast stampeded around us. During all of the chaos, the Nargakuga dropped an explosive on the ground, causing the floor to crumble beneath our feet. We plummeted into the depths of the mines. On days 30 through 32, I landed in a giant glittering cave with the Hydra's goon. Your little rebellion is going to be stomped out here and now. Our fight commenced once more. He slammed his spiked tail into me, devastating my health. He was just too strong. Even just one more hit would end me. Desperate, I took to the skies to avoid the slugfest and let loose with a barrage of psychic power. He snapped to me and I flew past, using my dive bomb attack as I dodged. He ran to catch up to me and I took the opportunity to throw some crystal blocks at him, landing my mark. He shook off the attack, however, and lunged at me again. I flew away evading him and began to line myself up for another dive bomb attack. After launching a few more psychic blasts to soften him up, I went in, but he managed to slam his mighty spike tail into me, sending me flying across the room. Quickly, it became evident that the Nargakuga was much stronger than me. I needed to find another way to win. Just then, the ground began to shake. I looked up and saw that the beast was still rampaging up from where we fell. I had to fight fire with fire. Focusing all my attention on the monster, I teleported it into the cavern with the two of us. Unfortunately, the beast set its sights on me. The creature charged towards me. I braced myself. Come under my control! As I uttered those words, my eyes lit up. On days 33 through 35, the beast kept charging at me and I was worried my psychic powers would fail me. Just before it could reach me to impale me on its tusks, it froze in its tracks. It had successfully been mind controlled. That's right, you fight for me now! Go! The beast immediately followed my command and turned around, lunging at the monster. With the beast on my side, I was strong enough to fight alongside it in an epic monster brawl. Both monsters met each other, teeth and pincers gnashing in a frenzy, each believing they were the more powerful creature. The beast unleashed his lightning attack, thunder echoing through the cave. Nargakuga reacted angrily, slamming his massive spiked tail as the beast charged in. I shot a few psychic blasts at him before he unleashed an aerial dodge then countering with a spinning tail slam, doing 
some serious damage to the beast. Recovering quickly, the beast leapt into the air, slamming down on the earth and causing ice and crystal chunks to erupt forward and go flying, peppering Nargakuga with debris. Knowing Nargakuga was near death, I dive bombed in and went all out, unleashing all my powers in one last attempt to finish him off. With our powers combined, we were able to take down the mutated minion. Woohoo! Nice work, buddy! Suddenly, I began to feel a strange sensation inside my body. I was transforming! My body grew even longer, and my fangs and fins became bigger. I also gained 10 hearts and a new psychic chain power. Now I'm even stronger than before, and I've got a new member to my rebellion. Awesome! Just then, the beast turned away from me and ran off in a frenzy. Hey, wait! I order you to stop! The beast was refusing to listen, even while under my influence. Something was wrong. Huh, I'm getting to the bottom of this. On days 36 through 38, I followed after the beast until he led me to a massive factory that was crawling with the Mythic Hydra's men. They had a massive radio tower there, and the signal coming from it was somehow attracting all of my mind-controlled minions like flies. That tower is distracting my goons! I gotta shut it down! Since I didn't have any backup, I decided to make this a stealth mission. I gotta be careful, or I'll get caught! I slowly teleported from cover to cover, attempting to infiltrate the factory. At one point, I nearly got spotted by one of the mythic goons, but I quickly used my teleportation to appear behind him and took care of him before he could alert anyone. Yikes, I need to be more careful. Just then, a big robot dropped down right in front of me. Intruder detected. I had to think fast. I tried to mind control it, but it wasn't working on its synthetic mind. Oh no, it's a robot, so it has no mind to control. The alarms began going off, and I quickly ran inside into the factory's long halls. As I did, more robots started swarming in after me. I gotta get out of here. On days 39 through 41, I was being pursued by the pack of robots. As part of the factory's security measures, a door closed down in my path, trapping me between it and the pack of robots. Thinking fast, I teleported myself on the other side of the wall. That won't hold them for long. I kept moving and found a central control room that managed the tower that was attracting my minions. I'm shutting this down. But before I could stop it, another robot dropped down in front of me. Eliminate. Suddenly, the robot attacked. The foe unleashed a gigantic, mechanically powered punch. As I recoiled, rockets erupted from the adversary's shoulders, cascading through the air with a stream of smoke. With lightning fast reflexes, I dodged the enemy's attacks before harnessing my newfound psychic chain power. Despite my efforts, the robot closed in, stomping with immense force and delivering bone shattering punches, forcing me into a hasty retreat. We engaged in a relentless exchange of abilities once more. The enemy futilely firing rockets while I responded with a barrage of psychic blasts. Suddenly, the foe grasped me within his metal grip and launched me away. I seized the opportunity to take through the skies, bombarding the robot with my psychic attacks from above. As we continued to duke it out, my health began to diminish. After a brief respite to eat and recuperate, I re-entered the fray, teleporting to avoid his colossal fists as I unleashed devastating close-range attacks. Although the battle was close, I managed to emerge victorious. The robot died, leaving my had a map labeled Secret Civilization. Secret Civilization? What's the Mythic Hydra hiding from me? I destroyed the control panel and used my psychic powers to summon the beast. The monster broke down the wall, allowing me to escape outside only to find even more guards waiting for me. I commanded my men to attack them on my behalf as I set off to look for the Secret Civilization. On days 42 through 44, I followed the map into mythical territory where the trees and grass were purple. I continued until I reached a grand tower, where I discovered a giant statue standing in my way. Huh? What's going on here? I spotted a sign that has some kind of riddle written on it. To get inside, you must clear your mind's eye. Huh. Looks like I need to use my psychic powers to get inside? I used my powers to tap into my mind's eye, and I was instantly transported into a vision. I was in some kind of mysterious dream realm. Whoa, hello? I spotted a pathway and started heading down it looking for answers. Suddenly, I was attacked by a huge dark monster emerging from the ground. Ah, what are you? I am a manifestation of your fears. Come to me. Never! The freak of nature crawled menacingly and slowly towards me, extending a long, slender arm before pulling the rest of his body forward. Despite my fear, I mustered the courage to attack. With a mighty strike of his hand, the foe ground slammed down so hard that specks of dirt kicked up into the air. Additionally, he swiped at me with his frightening claws, barely missing my elongated body. This horrifying beast was unlike anything I had faced so far. I was losing. Give up. No, 
I'm taking down the Mythic Hydra. I know my resolve. I landed a powerful attack on him, and he was defeated. I had overcome my fear. I triumphantly continued on down the pathway until my vision faded and I woke up. When I came to, the statue had opened up to reveal a hidden stairway. Well, here goes nothing. With renewed confidence in myself, I ventured inside. On days 45 through 47, I followed the staircase and discovered a hidden mythical civilization of Stonelands. Once they spotted me, they all started running around in a frenzy. Oh no, the psychic state has found us. They all converged on me and started attacking me wildly. What did I do? I didn't want to hurt them. So instead of fighting back, I tried finding a way to group them all together. I rounded them all up in an enclosed pen and locked them inside so they would stop attacking me. Okay, now, who are you and why are you attacking me? The Mythic Hydra told us our power was too great to fall in your evil hands. He's trying to protect us from you. He doesn't care about you guys. He's just trying to save his own hide. No matter what I said, they just wouldn't listen. They broke out of their confines and kept attacking me. Well, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Before they could hurt me too bad, I used my psychic powers to mind control the whole village. At least now I've got more members for my rebellion. Suddenly, the ground shook and I heard an evil cackle. <laughs> The Mythic Hydra appeared before me. On days 48 through 50, I was face to face with the Mythic Hydra himself. That little rebellion of yours is bound to crumble. It's only held together by your psychic abilities. That doesn't matter. They will help me overthrow your kingdom. You don't know the first thing about being a leader. Says you. You've done nothing but oppress your people. I'm freeing everyone from your claws. Fueled by rage, I lunged the mythic Hydra, attacking him. I unleashed my psychic chain ability onto the enemy, but the dragon countered with a shower of crystal projectiles erupting from the ground, shattering through my chain. In a burst of speed, the Hydra charged at me, its multiple heads snapping hungrily in my direction. I took to the skies, yet still I couldn't elude the relentless rain of crystal shards that pierced into my scaly exterior. My health began to dwindle dangerously low, so I retreated for sustenance. With my energy restored, I struck back with a volley of psychic blasts, but the Hydra refused to relent, closing in once more with unmatched speed. Crystals struck down from above, forcing me closer to the beast snapping jaws. I was left vulnerable in the mythic hydra seized this opportunity unleashing a devastating purple laser upon me no matter how hard i fought i just couldn't beat him he was insanely powerful is that the best you've got go my army i sent my forces at him but i was struggling to maintain control of my army and use my powers at the same time Ugh, I can't keep this up! As the Mythic Hydra unleashed an insanely powerful attack, I had no choice but to teleport away in a panic. On days 51 through 53, I reappeared in an old monument for the Psychic Snakes. I knew that if I wanted to fight and control my army at the same time, I would need to increase my mental fortitude. Huh, what would my ancestors do? Suddenly, my eyes lit up and I was sent into a vision. Another Psychic Snake was standing before me, and he looked old and wise. Who are you? I am your ancestor, a psychic snake of times long past. You cannot unlock your full power because you have a mental block. If you wish to strengthen your mind, you must overcome it. How do I do that? Explore the realm in your mind and clear the blockage within it. But be warned, if you fail, you will die. I had so many other questions, but the elder snake disappeared before I could ask them. Huh. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I was suddenly overwhelmed with vertigo and passed out, waking up in my dream world. I went in to investigate my surroundings, but I was ambushed by a group of my inner demons. Ah! They were terrified, and I didn't know what to do other than run for my life. On days 54 through 56, I was being chased by my inner demons through the dream worlds within my own mind. I jumped through the strange realm. I needed to find the blockage if I wanted to escape alive. Eventually, I stumbled across a dark cave. Seeking refuge, I fled inside. Just before the demons could follow me inside, I blasted the entrance shut, holding them off. Inside the cave, I saw what appeared to be an evil-looking core. The blockage! That has to be it! As I approached the core, it transformed into a beast of pure evil. You're staying here forever. Suddenly, the monster attacked me. The beast, propelled by its jetpacks, closed the gap between us with alarming speed, its chainsaw slashing towards me with deadly intent. Reacting swiftly, I retaliated by summoning my psychic chains. In turn, the monster unleashed a deafening roar before launching a barrage of cannonballs in my direction. 
As my health decreased, I retreated to eat and regain some of my hearts. As the foe came barreling towards me once more, I realized I could not match its strength. In order to outmaneuver the enemy, I harnessed my psychic abilities to teleport around the monster, preventing it from predicting my actions. From a safe distance, I utilized my psychic powers to hurl blocks at the creature and continued to lash at it with my psychic chains. Knowing I had to bring the battle to the end, I moved in close, deftly weaving around the beast chainsaw attacks, determined to deliver the final blow. Fortunately, I was able to overcome the darkness and defeat the beast. I snapped back to reality and gained five hearts, as well as the power to conjure a deadly psychic storm. Now I'm strong enough to lead my forces. Time to raid that mythic hydra. On days 57 through 59, I arrived at the mythic hydra's fortress with a mind-controlled army. Waiting there to greet me was a whole swarm of his mythic minions. Attack, men! Without hesitation, my mind-controlled army charged in to fight it out with the Hydra's forces. Filled with determination, our armies charged forward with great speed. The two masses collided in the center of the battlefield and the fight began. Initially, my men engaged in fierce combat with the smaller foes. As the larger foes joined the fight, I swooped in overhead, slashing them with my psychic powers from above. The battleground erupted in a chaotic whirlwind of clashes and roars. My psychic onslaught caught the enemy off guard, causing them to falter and granting us the advantage. But this was only temporary. The enemy's forces were numerous and fierce. Even with my psychic powers, the battle was neck and neck. We fought long and hard, but our two armies were evenly matched. We couldn't overpower them. Just then, the mythic Hydra himself appeared. You didn't heed my warnings. For that, you will pay the ultimate price. Bring it on! He charged after me, and him and I were sent barely backwards. On days 60 through 62, I was facing off with my greatest foe yet, the mythic Hydra himself. I knew I couldn't take him on on my own. So I redirected my army to try and overwhelm him with sheer numbers. My army waded through the water, rushing to my aid. The mythic Hydra barreled into my ranks, knocking through them and pushing them aside like bowling pins. With a snap of his massive jaws, the Hydra sunk his teeth into my forces with a ferocious crunch. While my men fought the beast at close range, I targeted him from afar. But even with the advantage of numbers, the dragon was slicing through them, raining down a bombardment of crystals from above, taking my army out in mass. As I retaliated with my lightning blast, the foe effortlessly evaded my attack by digging underground. As the monster emerged from the dirt, I barraged the enemy with all the psychic powers in my arsenal. I even managed to cut one of the monster's heads clean off its neck. However, this only enraged the Hydra further, sending him into a fury and replenishing his fighting spirit. The beast dove underground once more, and when he re-emerged, his head had been regenerated. My forces swarmed him again, but the foe unveiled a new ability, a ray of enfeeblement that shot out of his maw, dazing and confusing my men, leaving us temporarily defenseless. Just when I thought I was starting to get the edge on him, the mythic Hydra began to laugh. What's so funny? It's just so adorable that you think you can win. He blasted me with a massive attack, making me lose all focus. My whole army suddenly snapped out of their trance. What? Where are we? That evil snake caused all of this. Wait, no, I can explain, please. Without my influence, the beast went wild, running rampant on the battlefield and killing everyone indiscriminately. My own allies were turning on me and they quickly overwhelmed me. I blacked out. On days 63 through 66, I woke up in a prison cell controlled by the mythic Hydra. I've lost everything. I'm a failure. Hey there, pal. The name's Kip. What are you in for? I turned and saw that I had a cellmate. It was a little cactus. I started a resistance, but that backfired. Whoa, that's so cool. Can I join? You actually want to join? I don't have to mind control you? Of course. That guy has done so much evil, it's time we take them down. Wait, did you say mind control? That was when I realized I could convince people to join my cause in other ways. All right, Kip, you're in. Now, how do we get out of here? I've been working on a little something. Kip broke open a part of the cell and the two of us were able to escape. We were sneaking around the prison, looking for a way out, when suddenly Kip accidentally stepped on my tail. Ouch! Unfortunately, my cry alerted the guards. Kip and I made a break for it. On days 67 through 70, I was being pursued by the Mythic Hydra's prison guards. They were somehow immune to my mind control tricks, and I couldn't stop them. Follow me, I know a way. I followed Kip to a button. When he pressed it, it revealed a secret exit. Just when I thought we were home free, the ground opened up to reveal a pit of lava. I was able to fly up, saving myself, and Kip landed on a platform. He was stuck in the middle of the lava. Save yourself. I'm willing to die for our cause. No, I can't. I needed to think fast. The guards were coming quick. 
Uh, I'll come back for you. I promise. With that, I flood the prison, narrowly escaping the guards. I have to save him, but I can't do it alone. I returned to the village where I found the kobolds originally, and when I arrived, the place was in shambles. Whoa, what happened here? On days 71 through 74, I was investigating the remains of the village. Amongst the rubble, I found a map with a location marked on it. Following the map, I set off in search of answers. I arrived at the spot marked on the map and found that the villagers were being held captive. The mythic Hydra was forcing them to grow food for him. I need to get in closer. Using my powers, I took control of a guard. Using him as a pawn, I lured the others away. With them gone, I was able to get in close and speak to the kobolds. Amongst them was their elder. You? What do you want? I came to apologize. I shouldn't have forced you into my rebellion. Well, you were right about the mythic Hydra. After the fight, he enslaved my people. You're still welcome to join my team, but this time, no mind control. Break us out of here and you've got yourself a deal. The kobolds and I hurried out of there before the guards could see through my distraction. Time to save Kip. On days 75 through 77, I returned to the prison with my new allies, but security was even more intense than before. Charge! My men stormed the prison and fought the guards, allowing me to slip inside while the sentries outside were preoccupied. I ran down the stairs taking care of some guards before searching for my friend. Eventually, I found him in a new cell in the center of the prison. Max, you came back for me. Of course. Let's break you out of here. Max, look out. I turned around and saw a fiery monster charging at me. I dodged the attack and retaliated with one of my own. Marking the start of our battle, I unleashed a series of psychic blasts in an attempt to hold the ravenous beast back. But it wasn't enough as its claws slashed at me relentlessly. I teleported to evade its attacks, but it launched into the air, landing with a fiery slam. As I was disoriented from the recoil of its landing, the foe managed to move in close once more. In retaliation, I summoned beams of lightning down from the sky, striking the creature from above and leaving it temporarily stunned. I used the opportunity to heal before joining the fray again. Our battle commenced at close range, with both of us hitting the other as hard as possible with no restraint. As our duel raged on in close proximity, I found myself struggling to overcome the searing heat radiating from its body. I think this fight might be too much for me to handle! On days 78 through 80, I was at the end of my rope, when out of nowhere, the beast I had mind controlled burst through the wall. He rampaged through the area, killing the fiery monster until he finally turned on me. He was charging straight at me, and I knew there was no reasoning with this beast. I'd use my psychic powers to get him back under my control once again. Onward, beast! The beast charged forward by my command, smashing into the cell and freeing Kip. Phew, thanks. Don't thank me, thank him! <laughs> thank you. The three of us started to leave the prison when suddenly the beast stopped in his tracks and turned towards me. What's up, buddy? You okay? Why aren't you listening to me? <laughs> Just then, a shadow raptor stepped out of the shadows. We thought you might pull something cheeky with your psychic power, so we had the boys in the lab whip us up a remote to control that thing. The beast is now under my control. Sick him, boy! Before I could do anything to stop him, the beast lunged straight at me. On days 81 and 82, I was once again being attacked by the beast. I couldn't believe they had built the technology to bypass my powers. I tried my best to regain control of him, but he wouldn't respond to me at all. It was too dangerous. We needed to run. Kip and I hightailed it out of there, but the beast was right behind us. As we turned a corner, he lunged at us, breaking down a wall and revealing a portal that I didn't hesitate to jump through. We appeared on the other side at the secret civilization I used to control. Ah! Look out! The beast rampaged through their village, wreaking havoc all over. The stonelets were running in all directions, but they couldn't escape the chaos. It was mayhem! I can't fight him with all these people around! Don't worry, I'll evacuate the place. You take care of the monster. All right, thanks, Kip. Hey, big guy, come and get me! On days 83 through 84, I was luring the monster away from the village as it chased behind me. After a while, I didn't have the strength to run anymore. Just before it captured me with its jaws, I teleported to safety behind it. I then retaliated with my powers, but the monster refused to submit. I need to regain control, but how? Just then, I realized I needed to find the shadow raptor that was controlling him. I flew up and focused. Thanks to my psychic powers, life around me was highlighted. Using my ability, I was able to locate the shadow raptor and I swooped in to attack them. As the distance between us closed, the dino swiped at me with its razor-sharp claws, but attacking from afar proved to be just as perilous as it unleashed a scorching fire breath. 
It felt as if there was no escaping its relentless onslaught. As the raptor moved in close once more, I summoned a storm of lightning that temporarily incapacitated it. Yet, the creature proved to be relentless, showing no signs of bringing its onslaught to an end. Swelled with determination, I summoned my psychic swords, their blades granting me the strength I needed to gain the upper hand against the ravenous monster. With one last blow, I was able to incapacitate the Shadow Raptor, claiming the controller and stopping the beast's rampage. <laughs> What's so funny? I won! You fell right into my trap. Suddenly, the controller exploded and I blacked out. On days 85 through 86, I found myself in a black void with some kind of deity looming over me. So good to see you, Max. Who are you? How do you know me? I know all creatures, and while I was expecting you, I didn't think we would meet like this. Find the psychic cools, and I will tell you the key to unlocking your full power. I woke up to find myself in the secret stoneless civilization, where they were tending to my wounds. Oh good, he's awake! Thank you for saving our city from the beast! Of course! And I'm really sorry for mind controlling you guys. It's alright, I think we now all understand that our safety wasn't a priority for the mythic Hydra. Do you think you'd be interested in joining my resistance again? For sure! Suddenly, the ground shook and the mythic Hydra appeared. You are all traitors! On days 87 through 88, I used my powers to summon my new army to fight the mythic Hydra. He didn't even flinch at my army calling his massive attack from the sky. He flew down, going into a fury. My army of stoneless and kobolds did their best to fight back, but it was a lost cause. He's still too powerful! I have to retreat with my army! I gave the order to retreat and covered my forces as they did. I found a spot where I could temporarily take cover from the mythic Hydra. You are all dead the next time I see you! Run while you can! That deity I saw in my vision talked about ultimate power. Where can I find the psychic pools? Did you say psychic pools? The elder stepped forward and handed me the map. You can find them here, but be warned, nobody has ever returned alive! I'm willing to take the risk. With that, I took off flying towards the destination. Once I arrived at the location on the map, I looked into one of the pools. Suddenly, the world around me shifted and changed color. What the? Before I had any time to react, another dream monster attacked me! On days 89 through 90, I was battling another dream monster. Why was it here? I tried my best, but I was disoriented from my new surroundings, and this new form launched psychic blasts at me stronger than my own. I was no match for them. I ran for my life, barely managing to navigate through this foggy world. What's happening? Where am I? I spotted an altar and took cover beside it. Just then, the deity from my vision appeared before me. Max, I have been waiting for you. Welcome to the spirit realm. If you wish to return home alive, you must unlock your full power. I'm willing to do anything! Very well. Find the artifacts at the top of the mountain, and all will become clear. I'm on it! And so, I continued on my way. As I traveled, my surroundings became more like the dream I once had. I guess the dream world was actually the spirit realm all along. I was suddenly halted in my tracks when a bunch of angry spirits came out of the shadows and attacked me. Their numbers were unaccountable and I was still injured. So I ran for dear life! On days 91 through 92, I was fleeing from the angry spirits. Unfortunately, they knew this realm better than me and they were waiting for me around every corner. I tried focusing my psychic powers to blast them away. It even managed to affect the incorporeal being, but more just kept coming and I was starting to get overwhelmed. This wasn't looking good for me. Suddenly, my dad jumped into the fray to protect me. The two of us lashed out at the specters, unleashing the full extent of our shared psychic abilities. But even with our powers combined, the ghouls proved to be formidable foes as our attacks passed right through their gaches exterior. The phantoms were as tough as they were evasive, hurling balls of ectoplasmic ooze and slashing at us with their demonic claws. Luckily, the bond between my father and I empowered my fighting spirit, allowing us to gain the upper hand, vanquishing the shadowy spirits and sending the vengeful wraiths back to the realm of the undead from whence they came. With that, I was able to scare off the little spirits. I flew over to my dad after the battle. Dad? Does this mean I can talk to the dead in the spirit realm? That's right. I'm so glad to see you again, son. 
but our time to catch up was cut short as even more spirits showed up. The path of the mountain is just east of here, but hurry. The Great Spirit has already sensed your arrival and is hunting you down. Thanks for everything, Dad! While my dad helped them off, I headed out towards the mountain path. On days 93 through 94, I found the path that my dad had told me about and I began following it. I was starting to make good progress. I could even see the mountain, when suddenly I was teleported right back to the start. Hey, who's doing that? <laughs> I looked around and spotted a mischievous little flame spirit that appeared in front of me. The Mika play hide and seek with me. Winners get to leave. Losers stay trapped here forever. With that, the spirit vanished. Using my psychic powers, I was able to sense the spirit's presence. Now, I could see it hiding inside a ravine and I approached it. Found you! We have a winner! The spirit teleported me to the peak of the mountain where the psychic star I desired was waiting. But before I could grab it, the great spirit my dad warned me about blocked my path. On days 95 and 96, I was confronted by the great spirit. Who dares to seek out my precious psychic star? I do! I need to unlock my full power! Only the worthy may claim this prize! Prove to me you have what it takes! Suddenly, the whale spirit descended upon me. This was gonna be a tough fight. As the behemoth descended upon me and unleashed its mighty abilities, its powers proved to be befitting of its gargantuan size. The foe utilized psychic forces similar to my own, but they were even more powerful, including attacks I was not yet strong enough to learn. At its command, sharpened icicle spears rained down from above, piercing through my scales. They were crazy strong, almost as strong as the mythic Hydra. As my health waned, I attempted to retreat, taking to the skies above, but the enemy was as agile as it was large, taking flight as well and giving chase. It even called upon its spirit forces, summoning a phantom that materialized out of thin air. As the two of us circled around the mountain's crest, the whale was unrelenting in its psychic onslaught. Just as I thought I had seen all the foe had to offer, it unveiled its most powerful ability, conjuring flaming meteors that hurled into me in a ball of fire, shooting down from above. Brute Force wasn't going to cut it this time. If I wanted to win this, I needed to try something else. I wasn't going to be able to do this by myself, but if I had help, I knew I could do it. Dad! Mom! Please! I need your help! My parents suddenly appeared to my location, ready to help me. STAY AWAY FROM MY SON! On days 97 through 98, I was charging into battle against the Great Spirit with the help of my new allies. The whale attempted all of its old tricks, but my parents always proved to be one step ahead of him. They pursued the enemy with no relent and showed no signs of fear. They were unfazed by its ice crystals and undeterred by its conjured ghouls. Even as the foe unveiled its strongest ability and scorching hot meteors rained down onto the battlefield from above, my mom and dad refused to back down. Their courage allowed me to gain the upper hand on the spirit. I harnessed all of my strength and my love for my family to unleash my most powerful psychic barrage yet. Thankfully, the help of my parents was enough to push us over the edge, forcing the great spirit to submit to me. Only the wise understand that they can rely on others. You may claim the artifact. And so, I stepped forward and grabbed the psychic star. The power of the psychic star surged through me, granting me five new hearts and the new psychic ice storm and meteor powers the great spirit used. Mom, Dad, thank you for everything. I'll be sure to make you proud. With that, I arrived back to the real world, now even stronger than ever. I returned to my allies only to see that the Hydra's forces were rapidly approaching. It's time to end this! On day 99, I stood ready to face the Hydra's army with my own forces. Suddenly, the mythic Hydra appeared before me. Are you prepared to die? That's what I should be asking you! Surrender or face our fury! Never! Our armies charged forward, crashing head on. As our forces collided and chaos raged, the Hydra focused his attention on me, dragging me away from the battle. But my men, spurred by loyalty, took to my side, aiding me in the duel. Unfortunately, they proved to be no match for the beast, succumbing to his overwhelming strength. The foe then returned his focus to me, releasing a mighty laser and raining crystals down upon me. This granted me an opportunity to demonstrate my new powers, unleashing my meteor and ice storm abilities. The battle carried on with great force behind us with the Hydra's ranks slashing, clawing, and biting through my own. My forces were rapidly dwindling. Then, just as all hope seemed lost, the Stonelets unveiled their last resort ability, transforming into new and improved Stonebreakers. My now more powerful allies charged into battle once more with increased strength and vigor. As their massive hammers clobbered into the opposing army, the tides of war began to shift. 
the mythic Hydra attempted to single me out once again, this time aided by his own men, but the Stonebreakers refused to leave my side, retaliating against the draconic foe and his goons. It was mayhem, but thanks to my reinforcements, it seemed as though we stood a chance against the Hydra. Do you surrender yet? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Suddenly, he teleported both of us away from the battle. On day 100, I reappeared in a different realm. It was just me and the mythic Hydra. Wait, this place looks familiar. This is a realm cut off from the outside. Your little friends won't be able to help you here. Then I'll just have to face you one on one. I won't go down so easy. The prophecy shall not come to pass. We'll see about that. Ready to end this once and for all, we charged towards each other. As the beast came barreling towards me, I whizzed up into the air, unleashing a flurry of flaming meteors down onto him from above. I released an electric storm of jolting lightning, surging all around the ring. The enemy retaliated with the barrage of crystals so numerous that I couldn't possibly escape them while I was on land. With my health running low, I resorted to eating my food to regain some of my hearts. With my vigor restored, I had the energy to take to the skies once more. Overhead, I rained down a raging arctic ice storm, coating the hydra in a thick shell of ice. I attempted to take advantage of the foe's vulnerability with more meteors, but the dragon was quick, burrowing beneath the ground to avoid my attack. As he re-emerged, the adversary was swift to discharge a powerful beam towards me. Despite being weakened from our previous battle, the Hydra was still proving to be insanely powerful. We exchanged blows. It was my psychic abilities versus his crystals. The mythic Hydra flew into a rage as I took off into the air, seizing the opportunity to eat once more and regain some of my health. But my food reserves were running low. There was no room for error. Using my psychic powers, I hurled chunks of the stalagmite towards the enemy, but the Hydra was still too strong. I honed everything I had learned just to stand a chance against him. Luckily, after all I had endured over my journey, I was finally able to overpower the Hydra with one final lightning blast. And just like that, the world was freed from the mythic Hydra's evil grasp. Woohoo! I did it!